Good morning from Port St. Lucie. This is Professor Teferro for Chinese Taoist Poetry. And today is Lesson 12. Um, lesson 12 will concentrate on uh, Laozi and the Tao Te Ching. But more importantly, it will focus on the philosophy of Tao Te Ching. What does Tao Te Ching try to profess? Uh, the poetry in itself is just simply marvelous because it's simple, to the point, and it's highly inspirational at the same time. Um, how does Lao Tzu uh, view the world? Lao Tzu views the world as a place where uh, we need to be the center of the wheel. We need to be in the middle. We need to, need to um, not be too far uh, left or too far right. In our political beliefs, uh, we should uh, not judge people too harshly. We should not do things too dramatically. We should not be too um, excessive in our uh, behavior. Now, these viewpoints uh, coincide with a great deal of, um, of the objectives of Confucianism. Um, which is moderation in all things uh, that uh, Confucius espoused. But um, there are distinct differences between philosophical Taoism by Lao Tzu and Confucianism by Confucius. It's um, many different things about um, the uh, spiritual, mathematical, uh, scientific, and um, uh, traditional aspects of Chinese society. So let's examine them one by one. Uh, first of all, um, Confucianism had a great belief in science and mathematics, still does, of course. Um, Lao Tzu didn't really put that much of an emphasis on science and mathematics. He said, we know what we know from what we know inside of us, that the truth is inside of us, that we can know good and evil by ourselves. We don't need God. We don't need uh, a Bible uh, or any religious texts. We don't need any laws or canon. We don't need any priests or bishops or uh, popes or uh, shamans or anything like that. Uh, we don't need churches or synagogues or any other places of worship. All we need is our common sense and ourselves. The truth is within ourselves. And this is a very powerful argument. Um, it's powerful in a number of different ways. Uh, first of all, it says that the individual is far stronger than institutions. And of course, institutions didn't like this very much, which is why philosophical Taoism and Lao Tzu and uh, the Tao Te Ching were not popular in the um, uh, royal courts of China and any other places of authority. Uh, in places of authority, Confucianism reigned in places of um, thinking, um, Lao Tzu reigned. So um, it's very interesting that um, uh, you can have a philosophy where uh, the individual comes first, whereas in other philosophies like Confucianism, the individual comes last. Um, so um, that's one aspect of the Tao Te Ching and uh, Lao Tzu that you should understand. Um, that the truth is within us and that we don't have to depend on anybody or anything to understand what's going on in the world. So, uh, until next time, this is Professor Teferro for um, Chinese Taoist Poetry. Uh, we'll have another lesson next time and I'll see you. Take care and be healthy. Bye-bye.